Hello, Baker Investment students. We're in week six. We only have two weeks to go, so we're wrapping up quickly. This week we'll have a little bit lighter week. Uh, if we look at the Moodle here, uh, you're going to read chapters 12 and 13. Uh, we'll also have your uh, homework for week six, and you're going to have a uh, forum discussion, which you uh, give a little bit of discussion, your own personal feelings about asset allocation. We kind of look at that page, I believe it's 493. I'll look at that there. It discusses different strategies with asset allocation, you know, 493 to 494. So I want you to read those sections and then uh, post the thought by Friday uh, what strategy you use as far as allocating assets between stocks, bonds, short term securities, you know, what is maybe your investment goal? Why do you have your current mix? And again, there's no right or wrong answer with this. You know, as they mentioned there, even the pros disagree about what is the right strategy. But depending on, you know, what our goal is, if it's retirement, we may have a more aggressive goal if you're at a young age and you still have many years to retirement, but if you're close to retirement, you may more have a more conservative goal. Okay. A little bit of information about these chapters this week. First chapter 12 deals with all the details of mutual funds. You know, there's thousands and thousands of mutual funds out there to make a choice, as you uh, did last week with Otis, you know, whether exchange traded fund or mutual fund. You know, so it's really looking at, you know, why is this a good fund for me? And you have to consider things, whether it's an open end fund or closed end fund, is it a no load, load fund? I think historically there really hasn't been much evidence that a load fund is done, does any better than a no load fund. So to me personally, I just, I try to avoid the load funds because of the high sales commission with them. But you're gonna look at a lot, a lot of the nitty gritty details going into quite a bit about the characteristics of mutual funds and how to interpret mutual funds. Chapter 13, Managing Your Own Portfolio, uh, making those decisions about that asset allocation and trying to find right investments and reviewing literature and data about investments and hopefully making the right choices. And they mentioned this chapter too about some different statistical measures, uh, about the Sharp measure, Jensen's Alpha, Trainer's measure, and this kind of looks at you know statistical returns, standard deviation of portfolios, and with the sharp ratio and the trainer, uh, essentially you know the, the higher the ratio, the better. It's kind of how you're performing better than some benchmark like the S and P 500. Okay. Well, uh, another thing I want to mention just too, if you, of interest to you, you know, some of these chapters have uh, chartered financial analyst questions, so. Uh, feel free to answer those and uh, for yourself personally, not that you have to submit to this course, but you know, this is a type of book that would help you prepare for that type of exam if you were to think about that someday. Um, I know many of you in our finance concentration at Baker, but you know, I always believe too in the job place, uh, it's good for you to get some type of certification to sell yourself more. So uh, if you're a firm that you work at or your company would sponsor something like that, it might be something you want to look into down the road. Well, do send me an email if you have any questions this week. I said we have a little bit lighter this week, and then we wrap up with the final exam from last week. But have a great week, and I'll talk to you online.